unconsciously think about things changing within games or not. It's something that is inevitable and whenever you take a look at the final product of a game, chances are that thing that you're playing has been changed around probably about a half a dozen times or more since its conception and initial planning within the game development itself. So in this video, I want to take a look at one of the most iconic maps within Black Ops 2 and one that was even remade within Black Ops 3 and show you guys the version that you more than likely never saw before and probably would have not liked as much. So that said, we're going to be taking a look at the very beginning workings of Standoff from Black Ops 2, taking you guys through a little bit of the details of Standoff and comparing it to what it used to be known as in the game files and the imagery that was designated for it as such and comparing it to where we are now. So that said, let's jump right into it. So like I said, Standoff was one of those maps that was super iconic and you've probably played it a million times over through Black Ops 2 and maybe even in DLC with Black Ops 3. It was a part of the fourth DLC pack that came to Black Ops 3 with Revelations and all the other multiplayer maps that they're within. So that said, you probably played it quite a few times throughout those two games, but while taking a look at it and recalling through your memory everything that you've known and loved about the imagery, the map flow, things like that, this would be completely different from what you know, at least in terms of imagery. Map flow wise, it might have worked the same, but still nonetheless, it's quite different. So I'll toss the image up on screen right now of the very early workings of Standoff. And you can see from the preview image of the map that this is completely different and honestly on a much simpler scale. Now, of course, that makes sense because if it is the early workings, chances are they're not going to go full out into the detail and everything like that. This is the basic mold and structure for everything, but this is what Standoff was at one point. And if you take a look, you can already immediately see some different comparisons and different things in which from the original standoff is completely different. Firstly, you can see some of the car locations are a little bit different as you can see in Middle Street. There's a reddish SUV right in the middle that almost cuts the lane in half so that you could almost pop right out in the middle from somebody and they wouldn't see you. Whereas currently it's along the side of not only the wall leading into garden and bunks, but also right there on the opposite side of that same passage so that there's of course room down the center alleyway there that you can end up walking through. Additionally, one of the biggest things that I love about how this used to look is that the L-shaped wall that everybody loves to dip out of, it's something that that's completely changed around about because you could end up going past that wall into the broken entrance here with this where you were by what would be sea flag and domination. But instead of in this earlier build of standoff, you could continue around to the other side of the building. This is something where it almost acted as a patio where you could enter in the side here. Those brownish beams are support beams, but you could still walk underneath consistently here with this, it looks like, and then walk around to the backside entrance of the building, something that you could previously not do. Whereas if you look at the original version of Standoff, or rather the current version of Standoff, it has those barrels there that kind of block any immediate entrance into the doorway, but also that corridor leading into the L-shaped wall is completely cut off by the debris that is there. Now, besides any obvious color palette, changes or something like that in terms of the textures of the buildings. The only other difference that I can see immediately here out of this is that the entrance into Courtyard by Statue on Streets is at a different location. The current version of Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 has it closer to the edge of the map over on the right side, where if you're looking out, it'd be more so on the right. This is immediately to the left there at the edge of the building is where that entrance is, which would have played a little bit differently in terms of map flow and everything like that. And honestly, I think when you take a look at Black Ops 2 competitively, it made it a lot better because that was a major choke point in CTF and things like that. And if you could have immediate access into that building, those two to three seconds honestly could make or break some tournaments that happened back then. Now, outside of that, the only thing that really is indicated at this earliest point of standoff being known in the game files was actually that it was initially called Village. It was not called Standoff, but everything else was essentially the same. Where it was located is still the same between China and Kyrgyzstan. That's something where that whole backstory to the map is still the same, but as for it, you see now the image that was completely changed around and what it used to look like, and the name used to be called Village. But nonetheless, that is the earliest points of Standoff that we've ever known. Once again, a super classic map that I think is honestly one of the better maps in Call of Duty Black. Black Ops history. I think that this map was fantastic, but it's something that you may have never seen this version of it. What might have been standoff at one point. 
But that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I'd love to get your feedback and thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's something you would have liked to see where this would have progressed and some of the differences, how it would have changed Black Ops 2 standoff and maybe even Black Ops 3 standoff moving forward? Or are you glad that we have the versions that we do now in both Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. No right or wrong answer. I thought this was something very cool and something that honestly, I never saw anybody really talk about. So I thought I'd bring it to your attention, let you guys see it for yourselves and let you decipher your own opinion here out of it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel as well, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3, both multiplayer and Zombies of Zombies Chronicles, Call of Duty World War II, both multiplayer and Zombies there as well, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, but practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to share a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.